Greetings. If you notice, I have opened up Maple because Maple is one of my favorite tools to use in mathematics. And it's going to help me figure out a couple of things I need to know. So we're trying to solve cubic equations. And the spreadsheet that we're using only solves a particular special type of cubic equation, one written in the form of x cubed plus px equals q. But a lot of times we get equations in different forms. Namely, and I'm going to rename this express. So let's let express be equal to x cubed. And then what we will say is, let's say, plus 6 times x squared minus, I don't know, 4 times x plus 1. And we see we have an expression. Now, if you remember in class, one of the things that was determined was how to rewrite this by doing a change of variable so that we would get a cubic equation by, and suppress the y variable. So what I'm going to do now is go up here and I'm going to think about putting y in. Do you remember what it was that we had to do in the change of variable? We had to say x is going to be equal to y minus the coefficient on the square on the cubic square term divided by 3 in this case it would mean we would be changing all the x's to y minus 2 so that's actually what I'm going to come back here and do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross out the x and put y minus 2 in and I'm going to come over here to where the x squared is and I'm going to have y minus 2, and I'll get rid of the x, because I'm not interested in the x. I'm interested in squaring the change of variable. And over here on the 4, I'm going to get rid of the x and have y minus 2. So I'm doing my change of variable. And it's saying that I've got a space in here right up here and it's not a problem and what I'm going to do is back up and just enter this freshly and there it goes now it has changed the variable but unfortunately it's not showing me all that I need to see I am going to expand the name of this equation which is express And now, when I hit enter, notice it's in the form of a variable cubed plus or minus a linear variable plus or minus a constant number, which means it can now be written in that nice form that we would like. And guess what, guys? If you read the rest of that section, it'll talk about whether or not P and Q have to only be positive. With this, you can now go to the spreadsheet and you can change your values of P and Q and see what your solution will be. Let's take a look. P is negative 16. Q is going to be negative 25. Negative 16 and a negative 25 tells me the solution is somewhere around negative 4.6. If we go back to Maple, one of the things I can do is I can graph this equation, and you will notice right out here at about negative 4.5, I see the cubic equation does in fact cross the x-axis, which is the definition of a solution. I hope this helps, and if I were you, I would think about going to the computer lab and possibly using Maple in a spreadsheet to actually help me do my homework. I'm not paying you to chase X with a pencil on paper. I'm chasing you to know how to do that. 
let the computer do it for you. Hope this helps. See you next week.